Back speaking with Brett Smith this morning from Corazon Mining. Brett, morning. How you going, Andrew? Hey, good, Brett. Uh, news of a, a strategic acquisition from you this morning. Uh, a couple of deposits near Lynn Lake. Uh, just tell us a bit more about them. Yeah, these are uh, base metal deposits. Uh, Lynn Lakes are predominantly a, a nickel, copper, cobalt, uh, magmatic sulfide system. Uh, these are VMS deposits, which are zinc dominated, zinc, copper, gold, silver, typically. Um, and we've got a stack of them around in our Lynn Lake ground um, uh, near the mining centre, near the nickel mining centre. These are a bit further away. They're probably a bit larger. And um, uh, yeah, we, we're looking at them as uh, possibly something of value that could be processed in the future. And the high grade uh, McBride deposit. That's the that's the headline acquisition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's a good grade from surface. You know, um, eight to ten percent zinc plus copper. Um, there's also a bit of gold in gold in there as well. Um, well, it's only about five or six k's away from it. So as as two together, they, they look quite good. Um, yeah, it's um. McBride historically has always been viewed as a satellite, potential satellite mining operation for something else. And and in the historical literature, that something else has always been Lynn Lake. We're the first company to own both Lynn Lake and McBride since the Lynn Lake mine shut down in 1976. So it's, it's what we're talking about. It's not new. Historically, it has been thought of before, and uh, we hope we can take it one step further. And so what are your immediate work plans for these new projects? Pretty much a lot of the information we have is in paper format, uh, get that into digital format, work up resources if that's appropriate or exploration targets or drill programs to make resources out of it. Do do um, desktop studies on the value of that material and, and quite obviously, you know, eight to 10% zinc is much more valuable in, in ground metal value compared to 1% nickel. So is that value we can have early on in the project, uh, Lynn Lake mining history? Or, or later on, but definitely it's it's something that needs investigating now. And just as far as Lynn Lake, how's the, the MET test work going? Yeah, you care about that, Andrew, but not many other people do care about it. Um, it's going very well. Every new processing technique we've tried has uh, proven beneficial. We're focusing on a couple of, um, um, I guess, upgrade uh, techniques at the moment and producing material that we can take through conventional flotation. And it's looking very good. Uh, uh, we expect that um, the product from the uh, upgrading of the low-grade material will be very clean and beneficially floats. Um, so that, that's work that we expect to be finished in probably um, hopefully August, early September. And, and following that, we do a, a quick push the button on optimised mining studies and, and get the results from that. So we're heading towards September, October to be the ending of all, all this work. And as far as getting people's attention, uh, drilling is always a hot topic. How are things at Mount Gilmore? It's good. We've submitted our programs of work to the New South Wales government. We've had feedback from them, early feedback, and and uh, there's no hurdles. So it's um, it's, it's just a process. We hope, and then once that that's approved on the government, we head to head to New South Wales and we talk to the stakeholders in the area and, and show them show them what we want to do. It's a it's a very low impact uh, exploration program. A, a few drill sites very small drill sites and it's just really uh, talking to the landowners about access and disturbance as far as um, people driving in and out and stuff like that so it's good so we have to be drilling in July That's... and just remind us Brett you've been using some new science some new techniques if you like at Mount Gilmore yeah yep yep and that's that what we've read the drill target itself is a, a is a target of about two kilometres and we've re reduced the I guess Mount Gilmore target from about 20 kilometre geochemical anomaly down to two kilometres. And that's, uh, we've been working with the University of Tasmania on that, and they've defined that area as the likely site for a joint porphyry copper deposit. And that's why it's exciting. It's never been drilled before. It's been a huge regional uh, copper anomaly uh, and uh, a huge drill, potential drill target. We've we've kind of hurdled all that uh, uh, reconnaissance drilling phase, and we've gone straight into where they think uh, we should be drilling. Good to see you, Brett. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.